Welcome back to Fox 13 News live at noon. Now, if you get a call, an email, a text from someone who claims to be from law enforcement, should you believe it? Well, going in depth on this, Sergeant Spencer Cannon with the Utah County Sheriff's Office joining us live. Um, now, first of all, always good to talk to you. Uh, someone's tried to fool people into thinking that they're you, I understand. Is that the case? Yeah, that is the case in this particular situation. And it's not uncommon. We've had a number of uh, our employees here at the sheriff's office who have had their name used, and, and it's happened with other law enforcement agencies as well. But, yeah, the most recent one we've dealt with is somebody who's uh, trying to convince people that, that it's me calling them. And what, what, did they, what were they trying to get people to do? Typically what they did, in, in this case, uh, it was a warrant scam. You have a warrant, uh, and they give you some options on how you can get that cleared up, and typically those options include... Uh, giving them money in some way. And it used to be in the old days, it would be a, a credit card number, but uh, they gave up on that. And so they, they've gone to some sort of a cash-based card, like in this case, Google Play. I'd never even heard of Google Play cards until I found out that they were using my name. Um, but uh, they'll, they'll use Google Play or uh, Green Dot cash cards or Walmart cash card or some kind of a cash card. And they'll actually stay on the phone with you while you go to the store and get them so that you don't get to uh, have second thoughts and they can they can keep the pressure on you and make you think that this is a real thing. So they're, are they trying to really strong arm the people? Do they come across as being uh, really assertive, aggressive? Yeah, they will. They'll, uh, they'll get uh, a little bit high pressure. It's almost like a high pressure sales pitch. Uh, they may fall just short of, uh, you know, cussing at them or uh, threatening them but they, at least physically anyway, but they do tell them that this is really critical that it gets taken care of or or we may have deputies uh, have to come to your house and arrest you. Uh, and of course, those kinds of things may happen. We actually do go to people's houses sometimes and arrest them, but uh, we don't ever call and ask for money and we certainly don't need get money on on cash cards and things like that. So yeah, yeah. that's, uh, that's uh, well, uh, while, while you're, you're taking, taking care of that, yeah, I was just going to say that this is um, uh, what you're saying is really important that if somebody gets a call at home from someone who's saying they're a police officer, if it sounds authentic and they're not asking for something, they're just giving you information, then then how, how do you confirm still that they're the that they're the real deal? What we recommend people do and if it's if it's a legitimate law enforcement uh, contact uh, like that, then uh, it's okay. You know what? I appreciate you calling me, uh, but I'd like to be able to verify this myself. And uh, then if they don't want to hang up or let you hang up on the phone, they try to keep you on the line, uh, just hang up. It's okay to hang up. If it, even if it is law enforcement agency, uh, we do have people who work for the sheriff's office who will sometimes call people and say, hey, just so you know, you have a warrant, you got a speeding ticket or whatever. Uh, with the Utah County Justice Court and it hasn't been taken care of and here's your options for taking care of it. But if they hang up on us, it's okay. Their mom's not going to be mad at them for being rude or anything like that. It's okay to hang up. Then do a Google search and uh, find themselves the number uh, for uh, the sheriff's office or any law enforcement agency and call us and ask. Say, hey, do I by chance have a warrant? I got a call from somebody that says I do. And maybe you forgot to pay for a ticket, but if that's the case, you know, we'll, we'll tell you what you can do and we'll let you take care of yourself. Most warrants, uh, unless you're an axe murderer or something like that, we're probably not going to come to your house and get you. Uh, but uh, take care of yourself. We don't, we don't want to take the time as long as you're interested in taking care of yourself. We don't want to take the time to do it for you. That's really helpful. I'm, I'm going to underline what you just said. You can uh, it, get off the phone with the person who called, uh, no matter wh whether you go through the conversation or whatever, and call the police back yourself. Just call the department and, uh, and verify it. That's a really easy thing to do. Um, now, how common is this? Uh, very, it's actually very common. It goes in cycles. Uh, the one that I uh, posted about yesterday happened just yesterday. We had a couple of them Friday and Saturday as well, but it sounded like the same game, the same people using my name. The one we had last week was uh, uh, somebody who gave you a number to call, and when you called that number, it was... Uh, recording of some guy with a heavy southern accent and we got a couple of guys that work here that have southern accents but uh, uh he was uh, saying that this with the utah county sheriff's office and and that uh, you can leave a message now that makes it almost sound legitimate because they're not asking specifically for money but if you leave a message and they call you back that's when the asking for money game will probably start okay, okay. well we'll we'll leave it there uh sergeant spencer cannon with the utah county sheriff's office really important stuff 
police are never going to ask for money on the phone and don't do anything like go and buy a cash card and send it to somebody. Thank, thank you so much, Sergeant. Thank you.